For some, it's a hobby. For others, it's an all-consuming passion. We're talking about the Pokemon trading card game. And a Katie man who plays on the professional circuit is about to leave for the World Championship. He spoke with our Chip Brewster about this trip. Chip? And it's not just the World Championship. This is the game that has brought that man on all expense paid trips to Hawaii, London, Brazil, Australia. Tomorrow he leaves for California. But today we caught up with him to talk about this growing community. It's pretty surreal, honestly. Bradley Curcio had never imagined as a kid that Pokemon would propel him to the world stage. 21 years ago, I guess now, right when it started, my parents bought me the Game Boy, the original Pokemon Blue, I believe, and I had, you know, some of the cards. Fast forward to 16 year old Bradley and one bored weekend with friends. Just went to the store, didn't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon was the other thing there, so we kind of just went with it. Now, 10 years later, Bradley is fifth best in the last Pokemon the Card Game World Championship and is gearing up for another world tournament run. Not familiar with the game? Well, who better to learn from? First, we have the Vulpix, which uh, usually you need an energy to attack with. So this says you need a colorless energy. This says you need a grass energy, grass double colorless. This one says you don't need any energy to attack with. And for the attack, it'll let us search our deck for any two Pokemon that we want. And depending on what uh, so since we have a top Pokemon that we want, we need to Whoa. Let me try and sum it up. You use your deck of cards to attack your opponent's deck, knock out six of their cards, and you win. It's a game which Bradley says has doubled in popularity in the last two years and has plenty of room to grow. The community is so inviting, welcoming, and helpful to newer players. So, you know, I didn't know anything about the game. I was playing with, you know, honestly, really bad cards and just getting destroyed frequently, and they were willing to help me. Do you see yourself being 50 and still playing Pokemon? If it's still around, honestly, I probably will. Hopefully, you know, I'll have kids or something as an excuse to continue playing, but <laughs> I'll probably still be playing. Think you or someone you know might be interested in trying out the Pokemon trading card game for yourself? Well, come on out, Dragon's Lair, where we're live right here off of 249. Every Thursday, 6 to 9, they have an open league with people ready to teach you just how these cards work. Oh, just in case you're wondering, the winner of that world championship gets 25 grand. Live in Northwest Houston, Chip Brewster, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Fascinating, huh? Mm, you never know what's going on out yeah. there.